What's up guys, your boy D-Dog here. What if I told you that you can still use the remote program for your PS4? I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, those of you don't know, PlayStation years ago released on one of their updates it was they released a uh, remote play on their PS4 and those of you who don't know what the remote play is it's kind of like remote desktop whereas all you need is a program to remote into your PlayStation and you could pretty much play your video game while out in the road so in other words if you have a PS Vita or if you had a compatible computer you can play it they haven't got rid of it yet. They haven't seen any security issues yet. So I'm gonna show you guys pretty much how to set it up is real easy. It's real easy. It's not it's something hard you can do. So if you wanna play games like Monster Hunter, you wanna practice some Dragon Ball, you wanna play some, some Lego Batman. Yes, I have Lego Batman. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And uh, just so, so when you at work, pull out your pull out your laptop, play your video game, whatever. Let me just, just jump on the, um, desktop and I can show you exactly what you need to do all right so I end up bringing up my computer that got Windows 10 on there so what you do is you see that app right there see that app the remote play so you pretty much just go there double click on it it's gonna run and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect my wireless controller to it just like I did before when I was on the Windows 7 machine all right so as you can see it's connected so now I just got to hit the options button you hit start and now it's gonna search for the PS4 now once it finds the PS4 if it, if it finds it I'll show you what's gonna pop up on the screen and whatnot on your PS4 so but since I'm on wireless on here it's gonna it's, gonna, it's probably gonna take a while to find it so as you can see right here it'll say I'm connected using remote play. You won't see that when you're connected, when you're like out and about. So as you can see right here, you're connected. As you can see, like it looks like it runs pretty well. It runs pretty well. It's the lag, it looks no lag. And I guess because I'm on the same network and I do have it running. And normally when I first was using this, they used to tell you that you have to put your PlayStation in rest mode for you to actually do this and you can actually get it up and running. So like I can actually, I can do a squad search to see if anybody on my squad is on and I can just show you. Like you can just hook it up and you can be at work and play, man. So, so apparently it must have found people who's on my squad playing right now. So that's pretty good. So yeah, man. Like, like I said, it's pretty simple. I recommend you don't. If you gotta, if 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 your video card is really good on your PS4, on your not PS4, on your Windows 7 machine, then go for it. But I'll say for you to just go buy, get a Windows 10 or Windows 8 machine, and then you can you'll be good. So like I can see, I can like literally be in the bed and I can play and I can play this. Or I could be on lunch. And I can play this. Now if you want, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do a a real test, like if I'm at work and you want me to you wanna go on my lunch, I can test by remoting into it. Actually, I can I can show you what they what they'll tell you to do. Like I know they tell you to put it in rest mode. Lately, I guess with the new update, they really don't care now. Alright, so yeah, pretty much, man. Um it's pretty simple, pretty simple how to do it. You pretty much, you you need Windows 8.1, you need Windows 10, it could be 32 or 64. You need at least a i5 processor for you to run it. You need at least 100 megabytes of space. You need at least two gigabytes of RAM. And in today's world, they either come in eight or 16. And you need a good sound card, a good video card, and I think you're good. Like if you, you know, if you want a high frame rate, Get a good video card, then you should be able to run it. Obviously, you saw on mine's it's trash. With that said, I hope you guys like this mini tutorial. Um, you also can use this on Mac. Don't get it twisted. You can use it on Mac. 
Yosemite, El Capitan, and Mac OS Sierra. I don't know if they have it running on, on High Sierra, but other than that, you can run it on those three uh, OS's for the Mac. And they gotta be at least 40 megabytes of available storage. You gotta be at least two gigabytes of RAM. You gotta have at least a i5 processor with 2.4 gigahertz. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video or now. Hope you guys like this tutorial. If you guys wanna see any more tutorials on how to do stuff, let me know in the comments below. If you guys really wanna see me do that, that real test from being at a different location and not remote in, let me know in the comments below and I will gladly do that test just so we can see how good it runs when I am out and about and I want to remote in to play. Okay? So I'm going to end it there. You guys have a nice day. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button as well. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right? Peace.